Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Elvin. I'm a part-time reseller. I resell quite a few of my toys of late. And I'm a full-time Singapore chipmunk. I live in Singapore, so basically there'll be vlogs, unboxing, and day-to-day -day life of me buying things and selling things, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just got my jab for my vaccine for the COVID-19. and First jab and... <sighs> Yeah, I'm still a bit woozy. Uh, this is my fourth day and just to get into the groove, I'm going to answer some of your comments uh, that you had on my last video, which is on eBay uh, because of managed payments and Payoneer of late. There are some queries and I'd like to address them in this video because quite frankly, it's pretty in interesting that uh, I would like to type in words, which I did reply to all of you so far. And thank you for the comments uh, down below in the last video. And of course, in this video, if you have any comments, just comment below and I'll hopefully I can help to answer any of the queries that you have. And if you could like the video, both my videos or any of my videos in regards to eBay, uh, that would be good because it will push out to more people across uh, Singapore in particular because uh, we are experiencing it for the first time and manage payments on eBay and I still think that it's good to sell on eBay rather than other platforms in Singapore even though you do need to sell internationally because you still get money back uh, as opposed to you know like Carol Hell I mean Carol Sell <laughs> so let's go on to the first comment this one is from Kang Kin Kang uh, hey buddy I'm back Another Singapore eBay seller. Yeah, I've, I've seen your comments. Hi, Kang Ging Kang. Uh, hope that everything's okay with Payoneer. Uh, the reason why he asked about my Payoneer because I was still waiting for my first payment. And yeah, it took took more than a, a little over a day. Uh, over 24 hours to get my first payout. Uh, which I got. If you want to click on that video, you can click on how I get my first payout. The whole process basically. Just have a look at it. And uh, the, the problem with Payoneer is that you can't pay eBay monthly fees with it and you can't even partially refund your customers with it. I have to withdraw and tran transfer money from it to my bank account and go from it from there. Very hassle. Yes and no. Kang King Kang. It's like I mentioned to you in my comment uh, below in the last video that if you still have money processing and ready to be sent to Payoneer, um, be it whether you want it weekly or per, per daily or per transactional basis if there's still money with eBay and by the end of the month or any fees that you incurred um, through eBay uh, after you know minusing everything technically they can still minus off from there uh, for instance uh, I did a refund like I did, can did a cancellation. I'll be frank with you. I cancelled one of my items, uh, because my my toy was dented. I I somehow it just I overlooked it when I took a picture of it, and the one of my Sailor Moon, uh, toy got a dent on the box, and I quickly cancelled and refunded the 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 buyer, and it took out the funds from whatever I have pending with eBay. Of course, it has it's, it's because they have funds, so they can actually minus it off from there. Uh, but of course, if let's say you don't have any sales to for the whole week or until the end of the month that they needed to deduct fees for whatever reason. So yeah, you are not wrong there. They will have to deduct it from somewhere which like for you mentioned that you transfer money from your bank account to eBay or you, know, you, you, you linked any of your credit card or debit cards with eBay or even PayPal. You can actually use that to pay for it. Uh, but yeah, if you have funds with eBay, they actually tend to get minus off the fees from there. You uh, also mentioned about um, VAT and ISO so number when you're selling as a Singapore seller. Uh, that, the second question, like, if you're unaware, uh, folks, if you're selling from Singapore to other countries, other countries' uh, GST calculation, it's totally different from each and every one. But bear in mind that every country has uh, good service tax or VAT, so to speak. Uh, that one, technically, you need to... The, the reason why... Okay, let's put it this way. 
sing posts in Singapore, um, generally you can, they are insured up to $68. That, you can use that amount, 68 Singapore dollars, as an indication that it should go through to the, the other side uh, fairly reasonably well. That's why I prefer and always prefer to use registered mail versus speed post, whatever priority or express post because um, the insured amount kind of shows how much it can generally go to that country. Of course, if you sell to UK, uh, EU, EU uh, the calculation is already there. That's the other thing. Let's say if it's already uh, paid for through eBay, because there is some uh, wording there to show that there is uh, GST paid uh, upon payment of the amount, you generally don't need to bother. You just have to link or put the amount there to show that, uh, or the, 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 the serial number, lah, I guess. Because sometimes when I do the shipping label, there is so-called an amount to be put for for it so that's one consideration so but other than that for us selling to other countries like for instance canada for oh my god canada i got two parcels that came back to me because uh, of some gsd that's unpaid for so they came back to me and then there's another video together folks but right now yes you are, are correct that you do need to consider GST to other countries at the at any given time. So just do bear in mind. But of course, use the sync posts uh, up to $68 insured, insured amount to play safe, lah, so to speak. Okay, Aizen said, Nice info. PayPal's blood sucking fees and currency conversion rate has to stop. So far, like I say, the, the PayPal fees, uh, I, again, I should have done my homework is 3.4 percent if i'm not wrong every time they take from my ebay fees ebay amount and then if i receive payment from anywhere uh paypal also there's fees um because for whatever reason paypal needs to take some uh transactional fee i guess so yeah and the currency conversion rate is also a killer uh, com comparatively to Payoneer, which I've already showed in, again in my last video about it. If you want, to, you can have a look at that. But for the every one thousand uh, US dollars uh, transaction that you want to transfer back to your bank account in Singapore, uh, generally you lose twenty dollars, twenty dollars uh, Singapore dollars comparatively to Pay PayPal and Payoneer. So Payoneer wins on that front, uh, so to speak. Um, so that's that's that lah, uh, Aizen. The next one, Eric G, who commented and said, somehow cannot send payment to another payoneer for free from the balance. Can help? Okay, I'm going to read out to you what I found out and the fact that it is free, technically. Uh, I think the way, the way you're saying it's, I think you can't send payment at all. Uh, and if you do able to send payment to another Payoneer account, it is free. Provided, this is from one of the help, help desk uh, that I managed to pull. And then the ability to transfer funds to another Payoneer user is a feature that is available to all, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, however, you must be active in receiving payments from clients or companies that pay through Payoneer, be, as in eBay, before the feature becomes available. If after you receive several payments, the feature has yet to become active. Please note you will need to receive additional payments before the option becomes available. So basically, the, the account needs to be active and every time needs to receive payment. Uh, remember, receiving transfer from the other Payoneer users will not count towards making this service free. That's one thing that you must bear in mind. Uh, Payoneer accounts don't count. Basically, you need to, it's a business to business thing. That every time you need to receive or make some payment through the Payoneer, your Payoneer account, receiving or sending funds through that, and then you will get that feature unlocked, I guess. Hopefully that helps you. If not, worst come the worst, uh, email or live chat Payoneer for it. Uh, yep, yep, clubs. Thank you for the numerous uh, comments. And I, all your comments are duly, duly warranted. Uh. Because you manage payments, uh, there's a few things that you need to get used to lah. Because pay PayPal with eBay, there's a few things that 
it's quite straightforward. Like for instance, eBay, you get paid through eBay through PayPal. It's as simple as that. You get paid through PayPal and PayPal has the funds there. And then what if you're already verified and everything? Okay, this is again for existing accounts with PayPal as their main source. The fact that you have PayPal already, uh, you have the funds there. Every time you make payment through to eBay, it's through PayPal. You want to receive money to your bank, it's also through PayPal. You want to pay and buy things on eBay, it's also through PayPal. So that's one thing you need to know. Other thing right now, because of Payoneer of management payments, uh, if you're unaware, in US, UK and Australia, the, it's transferred straight to their bank account. It's as simple as that. So there is no such thing as Payoneer, which is a virtual bank basically. The fact that right now, previous times eBay is with PayPal and then of course they have already divorced already quite a few years already and then they are separate entities and then eBay doesn't want to deal with PayPal. PayPal is a one-stop solution for everything. But right now Payoneer is something that eBay is collaborating with and Payoneer is basically eBay is treating Payoneer as a bank uh, that we will withdraw the money from. So that's why you cannot add your Singapore credit card in. You cannot add any credit card in. Uh, that's one of your other questions that you can add your Singapore credit card. It, it doesn't work that way. But, 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 you can actually take, buy, and not buy, like, you can actually re register and get yourself a pay on your credit card. Provided you have money inside, like, basically. And then uh, as with any credit card, be it in Singapore or worldwide, there is uh, cost to it. It's with a credit card, you have fees associated with it. And Payoneer credit card is one credit card that you might think about it. If not, I think just, just add a credit card or debit card to eBay, lah, I guess, uh, so that you can purchase things. You that I know it's it's a hassle that Payoneer, the funds transfers to, to the bank, to, to your bank and then uh, there's one already one conversion rate and then you want to buy you have to reroute it from your credit card to the eBay and then they get another conversion rate you know then you lose out on it it's, it's a whole deal I understand that's why previously with PayPal this one to one the US dollars that was straight up I did check and see that whether you can actually link Payoneer to PayPal it is a thing the issue with it is because there's some numbers, banking numbers that you can actually input into PayPal, provided your PayPal it's a US based one. And uh, quite frankly, with PayPal not recognizing Payoneer as a bank, so to speak. So there's one loophole over there. And then you you do need to you do need to do a few things, which earlier I just said you need you you must register for Payoneer credit card. To at least link that card to to PayPal, that's one thing. So at least there's some funding source there. The second thing is, uh, you do need to get Payoneer to change your bank uh, in Payoneer to another bank. Uh, I I find it a whole lot of hassle. The fact remains that you already need to get a credit card already. There's a there's fees involved, so that's no hassle. So I think right now, short in short, short in short, everyone, Payoneer is a holding fund, basically. You just transfer the money to your bank account and that's it. If you want to pay to eBay anything, fees, you want to buy something, you can, there's a few options. PayPal, you can link your credit card there or your bank account there. You can link your credit card to straight away to eBay um, or debit card, so to speak. So that's all, I guess. Anyway, uh, that will be all for now. Just a few short days where there's so many questions. So I hope I answered everyone and everything again. Again, if there's any issues, any comments, uh, comment down below. Anything. Again, do like the video if you think it's useful to you. Uh, and do consider subscribing to my channel because I'm going to do more of this eBay stuff that uh, as of standing, I have a few things I need to pack. Uh, I was a bit woozy down the road because of <laughs> this uh, vaccine, which I hope you can get vaccinated. And if you do get vaccinated, you know, just and you don't, you know, just stay safe, I guess. So take care, everyone. Bye bye.